Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Storyline Emerson card to review today. So, uh, I believe this card to be the best option of the three for the uh, longevity of the game, but uh, we'll see how he plays in game. He's 5'11", high medium work rates, right footed, three star skills, three star weak foot. So as a right back, obviously not a bad thing to have at all. Uh, for his pace, he's got 91 acceleration with 92 sprint speed. So the way that that is set up with his defense and physical, it's definitely gonna make a lot of sense to give him the anchored chemistry style to boost his physical defense and pace uh, as much as possible. So we are gonna be boosting it by a plus five, plus five in that area. Uh, shooting presence on the cards at a 61 for finish. Finishing 82 for shot power. Uh, this is going to be a right back that I mostly see being used on stay back while attacking, obviously. But at you know, if you use him on overlap or as, as a balanced player, he does have the dribbling capabilities to be able to do that as well, just not necessarily the shooting ones. Uh, passing the card for base card stats is decent, not amazing, right? He's got 88 short passing with 83 curve at 70 vision. Um, so if you do like pretty typical passes, like you do through balls to your uh, right attacking mid, right mid and a 4-4-2 depending on what you're using uh then it shouldn't necessarily be an issue to be honest his dribbling stats for a fullback at 511 is pretty decent but let me see what his body type is i mean from the picture he looks like he has an average body type i put everson <laughs> m emerson um yeah from the picture it looks like he has an average so let's see Oh, he has a lean body type. Okay, so lean body type with those dribbling stats. Composure being at a 76 is not necessarily a huge deal. Uh, it is when, when people apply pressure on your defenders. You know, you kind of have to kick the ball out more often than not. But, um, you know, with this card, 76 composure for a fullback shouldn't be a huge issue, like I said. Uh, the anchor chemistry style is going to significantly boost his defensive capabilities as well as his physical ones. So giving him 91 aggression with 96 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, definitely going to be very nice. Uh, because he has a lean body type, he should be able to transition left and right really quickly too, which will definitely be very nice. Base card stats for defensive awareness at 83 for high medium work rates, which should be interesting to try out in game. A 5'11 player with interception set at 82 with a plus 5 for the interception should be interesting as well. You could give him a shadow chemistry style for a little bit of extra pace and some defensive boost in uh, more important areas because his physical is already kind of decent but i still think that the anchor chemistry style is going to make the most sense this card is interesting because he's brazilian and he plays for the liga santander so there are so many concepts that you can work with in the future or even right now for this card in your team like if you're lining up with a uh, diego carlos player in your team or another Militao. Uh, there's some cool things you can do with there. And then there's obviously uh, this link over here. We can use Rodrigo in your team with uh, Emerson in a 4-5-1 where that would also give you the links um, for this card. So like I said, I do think he's the best out of the three options. I think I mentioned that when I was checking out the storyline cards in general because uh, for the longevity of the game, it just makes a lot of sense. But we are going to be checking out the other two as well whenever given the opportunity to. But for now, we're going to be trying out Emerson. So let me see what custom tactics Andy has over here. Uh, I'm really down to use the four triple two, actually. Yeah, I'm down to use the four triple two. Is the fullbacks on balance for this? Okay, so we'll do balanced, balanced. Yeah, balanced, balanced, and we'll just leave them on. Well, we won't, we won't put overlap on these guys. Drop between defenders, balanced. Stay forward, stay forward, stay central, stay forward. Okay. Yeah, 4 triple 2 should be a good one. 4 3 2 1 is usually the best one to try out fullbacks, but uh, we'll see if he does much in the 4 triple 2 for regular FIFA. Okay, guys, 4 triple 2. Uh, we'll play some like regular FIFA to see what he offers in the team, and then we'll go from there. Nice, good defensive play right there. Possession based tackle as well. We'll call this pass short. A little heel to heel pass. His body type is actually kind of nice in game. I, I do like it. Should be pretty nice to use. His dribbling is not like crazy responsive, but it's good enough for a fullback that you're mostly going to have on stay back while attacking, anyways. I'm going to force the run of him right here. Try to see if we can open up the space on the side. Time that pass nicely. Goes back really quickly, which is great. Maybe get the side space here. Right there. Wait for that run. Oh, have to force a little uh, 
I'm not like familiar with these four triple two tactics, so I'm getting a little bit of used to it here. Oh, those situations are always very awkward. That pass should have just went to Emerson there, but Emerson's tracking right there, very very good. That was a nice goal. His uh, fullback overcommitted into the middle, so we just got that space on the side there. I'm gonna accelerate him out of position and just do this. He's a midfield. His tracking is really good. I like to push players out of position to see what they're like coming back into the defensive areas uh, because sometimes they're not super aggressive when they don't have the work rate. So obviously with him having the high medium work rates, uh, it's definitely very nice that he tracks back as quickly as he does, right? Because if you use him as a balanced fullback, um, it's not necessarily a huge deal because you can at least trust that he comes back quickly enough. Some players are a little bit more lazy, like they kind of like jog back. Uh, Krizawa sometimes does that, right? So but it's something you deal with when you have players like that. Like you mostly use them on stay back while attacking anyway, so not necessarily a big deal. But it's always nice to have a player that will track back as quickly as possible. Good goal right there. Up on the space really nicely. Emerson contributing to the attack really nicely too. Uh, with his dribbling being the way that it is, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I would 100% use him as a balanced fullback. It is a card that I would mostly keep on stay back while attacking. Uh, and a 4-2-3-1 setup with a narrow formation, it would definitely be pretty nice for sure. Nice. Open the space nicely. I think uh, my boy Andy has contextual dribbling on. Good tracking right there to get that ball back. We'll put some pressure on Ben Yedder here. Yeah, so it's a, it's a card you mostly use on stay back while attacking. Uh, he'll offer a decent defensive presence. I don't think Emerson's going to be like this amazing fullback, but uh, he'll be a good fullback to use depending on the situation of your club and how you want to use it. So let's play some regular tactics that I'm more familiar with, even though I think these CDMs are not necessarily the best for this. Uh, we're going to put... Yeah, we'll just leave it like this. Yeah, Marcus Lorente. And then the instructions will be stay back for the fullbacks. These guys have to be on comeback. Change that one. I don't like get into the box too much, to be honest with you. And this one has to be unbalanced with cut pass lanes on both of them. Okay, cool. Let's go try it out. Thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot. Well done, Emerson. Good physical presence there right now as well. We're going to force this run here. Stop him. It's good to uh, to use the L1 and the R1 to like trigger and then untrigger a run. Work off these runs here. Too bad Gonzalo Gedge's dribbling is really bad. I think my boy has a hunter on him too, which isn't ideal. Gonzalo Gedge in general is not. An ideal card. A little bit of physical presence right there. Emerson with good running stats to be able to get that ball there. That's why uh, a lot of people, even if it's just like an extra two or three for acceleration and sprint speed, they'll still give the shadow over the anchor chemistry saw because people won't notice the physical when the base card stats are already good, you know? It's just how it usually works. See, he still does a really good pass, so it's not necessarily a huge deal that his long passing is short. Or not short, but it's like low-ish. See, stay back while attacking, that's how you're going to use this fullback. He's cool, man, you know? Like, again, he's not like this amazing fullback, but he's a really good fullback. Which is uh, super nice if you want to work with some sort of Brazilian team, you know? Brazilian, Liga Santander. Positioning is fine. You can even see in the situation he tracks after that one guy up top really nicely. 
All right, guys, so final verdict on the Emerson card. So I don't think he's like an amazing fullback by any means, right? But he is a pretty decent fullback to get as a storyline card because of future links that you can work with, right? Because with this card on an anchor chemistry style, mostly on stay back while attacking, um, he's definitely really cool to use, right? Because the only other options that you have is Christian Pulisic, which I think you get more for sentimental value or you want to use him for fun in your team, or you get the... Uh, the Playa card, Playa card, the one from the Bundesliga, the French striker. So there's not like a lot of crazy options to work with for uh, the storyline cards this uh, for this season. So, you know, if you get this card, there's you get them because it's a decent right back to use for the links that you could potentially get in the future. I don't think he's going to be this amazing fullback for you, but I still think he's going to be pretty good, right? So um, if you guys end up choosing him, it'll be a good choice for the links you could potentially get in the future. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Because right now uh, with this card, uh, there is the uh, new Fakir card, the team of the year nominee. So if you line up in like a 4-3-3 basic, with Fakir being French, there's so many options you can work with, right? So you can just get that one direct link in the center mid position and then you're good to go. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.